my hot list of digital tools. You're going to want these. That's what we're talking about today. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. Our connected world is filled with free tools that make work easier. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some digital tools that I use and that I have them in a way that I can get to them very quickly and very easily. But if you're watching this video over on YouTube, you're going to want to come over to the blog post because that's where you're going to see a link to all of these tools. So come over to frankbuck.org click on the blog section, and then you're going to see uh, this particular post. So uh, all of the things I'm going to talk to you about today, these are so important to me, I have them listed in one note in my Evernote account with links to each of the tools. And to make it incredibly easy to get to, in Evernote Home, I have a pinned note, and this is the pinned note. So as soon as I open Evernote, it's looking right at me. So let me talk to you a little bit about what you're going to see, and I guarantee you're going to want a lot of these. The first little section of the note I call my productivity treasure chest. Uh, there are things that I use daily. Google Calendar, Remember the Milk, Google Contacts, Evernote, Gmail, the five components of my productivity suite, and then Feedly, the place where all of the blog posts and other articles that I want to read, where they're all saved. Google News, Google Photos, Google Maps, Google Drive, Google Advanced Search, and Google Trips are all there. The next section is a whole bunch of converters. You know, in our modern world, we constantly have the need to convert data from one form to another, and having the right tool for the specific job saves hours on any given project. You're going to want to just check these out one by one. Just click on it, go to the site, get a little flavor to see what it does, and see what's going to fit into your workflow and make your life easier. The next little section, uh, you know, it's called junk. We all get too much junk email, wouldn't you agree? We're asked to give our email address to somebody, and then we're inundated with email we don't want. So what's the solution? Give them a junk email address. You satisfy the requirement of that particular website without giving over permission to fill your inbox. So I give you three candidates there, three different services that give you a, a sort of a temporary email address that you can give and get whatever it is that you need, that free gift or whatever, without having your inbox filled up from then on. The next little section is called photo editing. You know, there's an old saying that a picture's worth a thousand words, and we want the visual elements that we use online to look good. Well, I give you a variety of tools that do the job, and in particular, one on the list, if you're not already familiar with Canva, you're going to want to create a free account at that site. Whether your project is a flyer or some social media images or any other design project, Canva does an amazing job. In all, in this little section, I give you 14 tools. The next little section uh, is called productivity. Time is a friend, or at least it ought to be. And in that section, I give you a variety of tools for a variety of uses, but the common thread is that they save time over doing things manually. I give you about a dozen tools. They, they include things like um, a site that gives you all kinds of different calculators for different uses. Uh, a link to Calendly that's going to make your scheduling life a whole lot easier. Uh, digital signatures, you're going to see a site for that. You're going to see a couple of sites that help you create QR codes uh, very easily. So, uh, you know, all about a dozen or so there. 
The next section I call public speaking. If you make videos, it helps to have a script in front of you. I actually have one in front of me right now. There's no need to memorize the stuff. Your time can be better spent on other things. And also talking off the top of your head is just rarely the best move. So I give you two teleprompters that you can use. Now, to be honest, I have moved away from using a teleprompter when recording at my computer. I put the text in an Evernote note, as I've done right now. I increase the font size and decrease the width of the note to sort of minimize the distance that my eyes are moving back and forth. And I use a wireless mouse so that I'm able to scroll the text. It gives me what I want without a whole lot more work so that you get the content. The next section is called research. Whether it's locating a person, getting past a telephone tree, or conducting a search that goes way beyond Google, I've given you some tools that are going to help. And what I include is Wolfram Alpha. If you're not already familiar with it, you're in for a treat. So that's one of the links that's in that section. The next section is called social media. You'll enjoy the tools to make posting to social media easier and more enjoyable for you and those who follow you. Uh, a site where you can get all kind of emojis, really a library of emojis. Uh, sites where you can get nice GIFs or one where you can make your own GIF, things like that. Next, a couple of things uh, related to travel. Recently, I did an entire post on Google Travel that you'll want to check out, but I give you that and a, another nice route planner that you'll enjoy. And then a section that I call writing. Nobody likes to organize footnotes, right? When I was in high school, it was a very tedious process, but with the right tool, it's easy, and you're going to get a tool in this section to do that. And as for one you see called Hemingway app, it's phenomenal for making your writing clean and clear. I hope this is a post that you're going to enjoy. Don't try and do it all in one sitting. Come back to it as you need to and just go through the links one at a time. Check out the various sites. See what they do. See what's going to work best for you. Thanks for stopping by. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and take a look at these two videos right over here and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.